What makes one ink wet and another dry? No, not on paper after you write with it, lol. In the flow characteristics, lol. I always feel weird when I say the word lol. Uh, anyway, <clears throat> yes, so what makes it wet and dry? Um, essentially, it's, it has to do with the dye concentration in the ink versus the lubrication that's added to it. So ink is mainly water, you know, it's mostly water. I can't tell you an exact proportion because I'm not a chemist, I don't make my own ink but it's a lot of water and there's dyes that are used in the water. Um, if the, the dye that's used for the water-based dyes that are used in fountain pen inks, they are very dry. So they don't flow very well through a fountain pen. Water flow is a little bit better. Um, so the dye is drier than the water. So if you have an ink with a lot of dye in it, usually what the ink makers will add to help with the flow is they'll add a lubricant to help to counteract the dryness of the dye as it moves through. So an ink like Noodler's, for example, very, very saturated with dye. Nathan Tardif believes in saturating his dye, his ink as highly as it can. That way, if you don't want it to be that saturated, you can dilute it yourself with distilled water and get more economy out of the ink. He's, just, he's all about economy and believes in packing as much dye into his inks as possible. Some people criticize him for that, but you could always dilute it and then you would have, you know, kind of a more watered down ink like you would get from most like European pen companies, for example. Um, so th having said that, the more dye that's in the ink, the more lubricant is needed to, to get that to flow properly. And just as a little side note, that's where nib creep usually comes in. It's the lubricant that causes nib creep. So you have a if you notice, a lot of people say things about like noodlers and some of the other diamines and stuff like that that are more saturated inks that will tend to nib creep more. That's because of the lubricant that's added to counteract the dryness of the dye. See how this is working? Uh, so yes, um, the feed and the nib could also be a factor of the pen, of course, but if you're talking specifically as the ink, that's usually what causes it. Um, and the paper absorbency as well can be a big factor in how dry or wet your pen feels. So there's all, really all three things are a factor, but specifically with the ink, if you keep the paper and the pen the same, changing ink can really make a difference in terms of your writing experience.